Hi, Stephen from Owner oh, Disown. A little bit of a different video for you this time. We've all had metal aluminium laptops that, you know, over a period of time get scratched and you think, oh, bollocks, what can I do there to fix that? Well, what I've decided to do was, don't try this at home, scratch my own laptops using this very sharp knife. So I decided to use, you know, black anodized laptop, such as this, and, a, a, you know, just a regular aluminium laptop. And let's say I use that knife to, uh, to scratch, you know, some pretty deep scratches into the laptops, which ordinarily probably is overkill. But what I'm planning to do is then test a series of products to see what will uh, remove it best. And some of these products are, you know, just products you find lying around the house. So the first thing I'm going to try is using baking soda. Three parts baking soda and one part water. And mix it into quite a thick paste. Then I'm going to try using fluoride-free toothpaste. Should be a thick paste, just like the baking soda. I'm also going to use some car scratch remover. We've all used these before, so it'll be interesting to see how this works. Comes with its own sponge. And finally, for black anodized laptops, just use some uh, self-etching primer here with a Q-tip and try and uh, see how that works. All right, so first off, let's try the toothpaste. Let's try baking soda. Let's try the car scratch remover. And for the edge, spray a little bit onto a bit of cardboard using a Q-tip, apply it. To the scratch. So on the black anodized uh, laptop, the scar scratch remover did pretty well there. You know, it's, it's there, you can still see it, but it's certainly a lot less. The edge primer, of course, you can't see the scratch, but you can see a black line. So I'm gonna work on that and see if I can uh, remove that baking soda. Well, it's still there. I don't think it really made that much difference. Perhaps you've got to really press hard and do it for a long time. And the same pretty much with the toothpaste, although it has got a bit less. So I think, you know, for slight scratches, you might have a good success here. But, you know, I think the, scar, the, the car scratch remover is the best so far. So let's have a look at the silver laptop. So looking at the uh, bare aluminium, the car scratch remover did the best job. It's still there though, but I can't feel it with my fingernail. But it says, that seems to have done the best job. Baking soda, didn't seem to touch it too much. Actually, well, I don't know, it's probably better than the toothpaste. The toothpaste, it's disappeared there. So again, I think it's just a case of persevering with it and rubbing it hard for quite a long time. So I applied another coat of uh, the primer to here and uh, wiped it all down again and then did the uh, car scratch remover across the whole lot. And I must admit, the primer one is the best. It's removed most of it. Just yeah, it's in fact applying it to the wall has improved altogether. So I think the, the combination of the on a black, a black anodized laptop, the uh, edge primer, and the car scratch remover works wonders. And on the uh, silver laptop, I just applied the uh, car scratch remover across the board, and that has helped as well. Hasn't got rid of them, but it has helped. And perhaps you know repeated uh, applications will get rid of it totally. Right, there you have it. You know, it was quite a good test. And I think in conclusion, you know, the, the car scratch remover is great. If you use that on, it works on both of them. It's certainly the best one. And then if you've got a black anodized laptop, you know, pop start off with this uh, self uh, etching primer, let it dry, and then uh, apply the car scratch remover there. And uh, it pops through repeated uh, coats and eventually it'll start certainly diminishing, if not, disappearing. Now you've got to bear in mind the test I did was scratching these things with a freaking sharp knife. No idiot's going to be doing that. So, you know, you're just going to have just slight surface scratches and I'm pretty confident this uh, method will uh, help you out there. Anyway, remember, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!